One Piece is unquestionably, undoubtedly the greatest, human-made manga, of all time. It's just not even a question anymore at this point, it's just a fact. And that's cause, ladies and gentlemen, it has been revealed that Luffy is the sun god who is also Joy Boy. That's right this is not spoiler free bitches. What were you expecting clicking on this video? Anyways let me start off by talking about the latest chapters of One Piece. With the fight between Kaido and Luffy taking a turn for the worse for Luffy, things were looking quite dicey. When suddenly the big old elephant talked about hearing Joy Boy. If you don't know Joy Boy, jog your memory up a bit and I think you shall remember some instances where he was mentioned. If you google it, it would be shown that he was first mentioned in chapter 628, 11 years ago, when he left an apology letter to the Fisherman Island. In the One Piece universe, Joy Boy was there about 900 to 800 years ago, near the time where the world government was formed and all. It's quite hard to say with pinpoint accuracy about who Joy Boy exactly is, because like many of the other mysteries in the One Piece universe, it's something they have been very vague about, but there have certainly been many foreshadowing here and there. Unfortunately, if you expect me to tell you who Joy Boy is then you are quite mistaken, cause I know fuck all. I just made this video cause I just got hyped by this chapter. And let me tell you why, see continuing on to what happened with the latest chapter, Luffy got crushed by Kaido cause the world government interfered but then we got the good old shonen main character power up. We had the scene with the world government disclosing that they have been searching for the Gomu Gomu fruit for 800 years and have been unsuccessful every time by the hands of the fate. We got the big old elephant cheering about hearing the drums of liberation that he had been waiting for. We got Luffy, still being goofy, as he marvels his new strength and enters god mode, cause Luffy has literally become god. The sun god Nika, who was previously mentioned to be the hope for the slaves in the past. In short, Luffy has become the sun god, cause that's the real power of Gomu Gomu fruit, which is actually the mythical zone human human fruit which allegedly has the most ridiculous power. Now if that isn't hype, I don't know what is. Because if you have been following the series you know now that there are many mysteries that have been foreshadowed from the beginning, so I don't think Luffy becoming the sun god is something that, Oda the creator of One Piece, just hurriedly decided. I am sure he has a lot in the plans, and you know what the hype part is. It's that we will finally see the mysteries reveal themselves, not just a couple of them too, but of the places we have seen much of in the Grand Line, the mystery behind the Fisher Island, the apology letter that Joy Boy left. The mystery with their royal family, and also regarding Roger and Odin who have been revealed to know the secret of Joy Boy. Also regarding the slaves who worship the sun god Nika and the dirt naughty secrets of the world government and all that. See this the kind of goof old shonen hype that I haven't felt in quite a while. And that's all I got to say, cause there are many things to speculate about and the best I personally feel is to just ride along with the hype and speculate by yourself as you let the creator show off this whole world he has planned for his viewers, aka, us. Thank you.